quick cable knit accessories. A great gift idea. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today, in celebration of reaching 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, we are going to create a new knitted bracelet because that was the very first video I ever posted, along with a cute little headband as well as a cozy ear warmer and it also can double as a messy bun hat. After posting last week's honeycomb cable knit stitch pattern, I realized that it is a perfect pattern for these accessories when you just cast on a few stitches. Now for this project, it's great because you can use any yarn and appropriately sized knitting needles that you would like. It's just the bigger the yarn, the bigger the needles, the bigger your project will be. So I have the exact materials that I'm using in the description below, but please feel free to try this project with whatever favorite yarn and, and knitting needles that you have on hand. These accessories make great quick knit gifts and I have more great ideas for you in my playlist which is also linked in the description below. For the complete written pattern, go find that over on my website linked below. When you join my mailing list, you can also download printable PDFs of these patterns and you also might want to save these on Pinterest for later. So let's get started. To begin, we create our beloved slip knot, and we are going to be using the long tail cast on method. And this is the honeycomb cable knit stitch pattern. So it is in multiples of eight. You can do one multiple of eight if you're doing the headband or the bracelet. If you want to do a thicker version like the ear warmer, I'm doing two multiples of eight. So let's knit it up. Going to just give a review. Again, the pattern is down below. Row one is simply knitting all stitches. And row two is purling all stitches, all the way down all eight stitches. Now row three is cabling. So we take our cable needle and we're going to slip two and hold that to the back. Then take your regular knitting needle. Oh, it looks like the sun's going down on me here. <laughs> and we are going to, oh, the sun's up again. We are knitting two stitches off of our regular needle. And then we are going to knit two stitches from that cable needle that we held to the back. And you have to sort of scooch it around sometimes. We're going to knit one and two, so that's C4B in the pattern, and then it's C4F, that is cable for front. So you take your cable needle and you hold it to the front, slipping those two stitches. And we take our regular needle and we simply knit two stitches from our regular knitting needles and get them secure right here. So that is knitting one and two. And then finishing up these eight stitches from the cable needle, we are going to knit two. One right here and two. And you can see I painted my cable needle pink so you can see the difference. And here's how it's shaping up after just three rows. So now, pretty simple. Row four is all purling. And then row five is knitting all of those stitches, all eight stitches. Row six, again, is purling. And so this is a stockinette stitch that we're doing here for our cable. And here's how it's looking so far. It's shaping up and it's one last cable row. So it's similar but different. This time we start with CF4, cable for front, and that helps shape the direction of our cable. So you're holding it to the front, the cable needle, and you are knitting two stitches off your regular knitting needle and then working it around knitting two stitches from your cable needle. And then those last four stitches are C4B, that is cable four back. So take your cable needle 
slip those two stitches right there and we are going to take it and hold it to the back so we bring that cable needle all the way around to the back pick up the regular knitting needles and knit two regular stitches using our knitting needles and two and then we're going to pick up that cable needle that we held in the back and we finish up by knitting two stitches off the cable needle. And that's it for the cabling. It makes such a beautiful, simple little shape. And we just finished up row eight is just all purling all of the stitches on row eight. And the pattern is a repeat of these eight rows. So you can see what our cable looks like and you just continue on until your cable is the length that you desire. So for the headband and the bracelet, I just did this row of eight stitches and going along until it is the length I need either for my headband or for the um, size of your wrist. And then go ahead and bind off when you're ready all of your stitches. Of course, you need to cut your yarn tail and with your tapestry needle, go ahead and finish it off. Just weave in that little end right there. Okay, I'm gonna show you my headband. So I finished up this one row of eight stitches of my cable until it was the exact length of the headband that I chose. And then just using my yarn, that yarn tail, go ahead and tack the edge and then we are going to tack it along the entirety of our headband. So I like to just sort of carry my yarn up and then right there in between the cables, tack a few little stitches right there in the middle and just continue doing this all the way around your headband, tacking it securely in place and here is how it's looking it's really cute really pretty shape to it very simple and this would make a great gift to one of your friends who has beautiful hair <laughs> and then let's look at how we can do um, either the bracelet or the ear warmer. So here's the ear warmer where I did two multiples of eight and holding the right sides together, I'm going to tack the edges together. Just really simple. I'm not getting too complicated with my stitch. Just tack those edges and then you turn it right side out. And here's just a little edge right there. I hold that to the back of my head and everything is just so pretty and cozy, warm. This is super bulky yarn that I used for this right here. And for both the ear warmer, um, which also looks great as a messy bun hat, you simply are finished after you tack your edges together. That is it. You are done. I hope you are inspired to knit up these quick knit accessories for yourself or for friends. And thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel and helping me reach this goal of 100,000 subscribers. And now I'm surpassing that. That's very exciting to see these numbers keep going up and up and up. And um, what that tells me is that my channel is helpful to you. And um, it's just so great because we are in knitting season. There's so much fun stuff that I have in store for you. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Make sure subscribe to my email list as well. I'll have that link down there. It's a great way for us to directly communicate. And now I have the community tab here on YouTube, which has been a great way for me to find out what projects and what videos you'd like to see next. So please make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube, subscribe to my mailing list, and I will see you next time, guys. <laughs> Bye!